All right, we're, you decided to do the cartoon painting on the pumpkin. So that's the first step. Part of my doll box scheme is you not just to paint a face of a famous cartoon character on the pumpkin. You also will require to do an emotion. Uh, different to most popular belief, most people don't walk around looking like they're bored constantly. Most of the time. So you're going to draw basically a pumpkin shape. And then you'll pick your cartoon, but you have to figure out what uh, their emotion may be. Uh, I know what somebody's saying, Mr. Broat, Mr. Broat, I'm dead inside. I do not feel emotions. Well, you can type in the character, or you can type in uh, facial expressions and find different facial expressions um, and how to draw them. Okay, if the eyes are wide, it normally is fear. Uh, eyes are probably going to be the main focal point of how you're displaying your emotion. Now, uh, I picked, speaking of emotions, I picked uh, for this to do on here, I picked the, the angry dude from that emotion movie. So, But instead of doing the same emotion that you probably already see, I am adapting it. To my own preference. I'm going to put some bags beneath his eyes. So, it's the angry dude. See how I went lightly with the pencil first, and then I went dark. I also want these kind of colored in, because you will be painting them, so you should know where the color's going. I don't want a flat color. I want a variation of color as well. So, um, I'm just going to color this in black. This is where his eyes would be. Okay, with the pencil. It's perfectly legal. Okay, um, we'll paint the pumpkins white. So, if you don't want to uh, add anything in here and here, because that will technically be white, that's fine. But then, since he's red... Remember, light comes from top, shadow comes from the bottom. So, if I'm doing what I need to be doing, then I should paint this going from top to bottom, picking out the sections, and going from a dark red to a light. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Go, oh, I get to add white to it. I don't really want you to add white to it. Okay? I know. You're going to like, this wrote that makes no sense. Uh, that is unfair. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want you to leave the red color the way it is. And I want you to try to use the coloring spectrum to make it darker. So... Um, colors that are closely related to each other just take a look and see which one is darker and then you're going to either mix or layer your paint uh, so that it appears darker when we get to the pumpkin so I want to give an example here because when we brush it on you're probably going to brush it on flat but you're going to Probably mix, since I have red, you can probably mix a purple or even a blue to that red, okay? Give it purple, it'll be darker. I'm just going to take this dark blue, 
kind of show you what I mean by layering it over top here because it will kind of color in as you go. And we're not covering the space, we're just going to cover a little bit of the space where that dark red is to make it look darker a little bit more 3D. So if I was painting this, I'd probably put like a drop, maybe two drops of a, of a blue or a purple in my red in another container or find one that's already there instead of making a new container and wasting paint. And uh, getting it that way. So I can go back in with my red and my prelim, go over it, and make it darker, and blend it out so I have a better idea when I go to final on that final pumpkin how everything will look when I'm done. If I don't like it, guess what? You do three preliminaries so you can change it next time. This is your practice before the game. This is your practice before the finale. This is like your worksheet quiz or your worksheets and math and all that other good stuff. So that when you get to the actual piece, you know what you're doing, you have a clear plan, and you're moving forward with ease. Okay? So when you're at the final, you know exactly what you're doing. You got a clear plan. No, I'm saying that again for a fact. And it should be a lot easier for you to do the final because you hit all the mistakes before you went to the final. Instead of trying to figure out why you're doing the final and getting frustrated and then getting frustrated with me because I'll probably say to you, well, what'd you do on your prelims? And then you'd be like, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know you. That's why I asked you. So make sure you're doing the prelims. And then when we get the pumpkins, we'll paint them white, gesso them, pencil over them, and color them. Oodalali. So thanks for listening.